All right, so here we are with our new seed. As you can see, this is a medium-sized village. I try to look for larger villages when I'm picking my seeds just so that I have more villagers to trade with. Bonus if they have all the jobs so I don't have to make the benches, but this one was this one didn't have but this one was fine. Anyways, it did have some of the some food which was helpful because it didn't have a farm which lots of the villages that I look for do which was a bit of a bummer and then after raiding the village I quickly got to mining my way down normally when I do mining I tend to do strip mining but this time around I actually ran into a lot more caves that I was able to successfully kind of comb through which was kind of a change of pace one thing that kind of happened when I was going into this was this where I broke a block and a silverfish popped up and then it called a friend and I quickly ran away because we've died to that before. So if any of you guys have an explanation as to why on earth that happened, please leave it down, be down below because I have no idea. And while you're at it, check to see if you're subscribed and leave a like. Anyways, so yeah, I ran all the way back up because there was no way that I was going to die mining my way down looking for just an iron, just some iron, and die to some silverfish as opposed to the last time where I died on my way to the end. That's ridiculous. Here's the kind of more deep slate area of the uh, cave where I quickly kind of ran through and lit it up before too many mobs could spawn. Occasionally I ran into a couple of zombies, but it wasn't actually too bad. I did my best to kind of comb through and um, clear it out. I did run into the zomb- like, not the deep dark- I don't know what this stuff is called. Uh, like, shriek- skulk sensors with the floppy ears and a tower thing next to it which I know can get the warden, which was kind of crazy. I almost spawned it once, because I know you'd, you'd spawn it th th three, third st three strikes, you're out type of thing, where you kind of run away w real quickly. But anyways, then I also grabbed some gold from down here, because I did a little bit more messing around with redstone this go. And while I was doing that, I got attacked by this skeleton, which popped up out of nowhere. I was so confused where he came from because I had worked so hard to kind of light the area up. You can see in the background a little bit of darkness, but that's got like deep dark on it. And I was pretty sure that um, they couldn't spawn on that. But anyways, so we thankfully survived that, barely. But this is me kind of looking around going, where on earth did that skeleton come from? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> anyways, so we survived and headed back up to get some wool so we could cover up the tower. Because I know you can take the tower you and you can make warden farms to get X more XP. Although I vaguely remember hearing people say that they were nuking the amount of like XP that you can get, but I don't know. I don't, I, I haven't made a lot of these farms, so I wouldn't know off the top of my head. I did find um, a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner, which I was able to this time around successfully make into a farm. So I will leave the instructions for those it's really a skeleton spawner, but I just did it for a zombie spawner down below. So I was able to successfully make it and they weren't too far away, a little far, but not ridiculously far. So the zombie one was nice because every so often they drop down chicken and iron, which is always helpful because I have a hard time, hard enough time getting it. But this time I also had the skeleton spawner, which gave me plenty of arrows. And this is the iron golem find or iron golem farm so I could get iron which took a little bit to build but I was thankfully able to successfully get it created and with all of that XP and iron that I was getting I was able to make an enchant set of enchant not that I used iron for enchanting I used it mainly to make railroads but 
oh well. Anyways, I made this enchanting bench, which is the first time I'd made one in a really long time. And this time, when I put in my pickaxe, it's already enchanted here, but when I made put in my pickaxe, it gave me fortune three on the first go. I was so surprised. I was mainly trying to get looting three because I was headed off to the nether and I prefer to deal with looting three when it comes to taking on blazes so I can do one go and then never have to go back. But that's just me. I put the dirt around the nether portal after I originally made it because I didn't want any of my villagers to go, or iron golems, to go wandering into it because that happens quite a bit. I ended up spawning in a soul sand biome which is not my favorite just because of the fact that there are a bunch of skeletons there and I tend to die to skeletons a lot. So I ended up traveling in the ceiling quite a bit. Not the full nether roof, because I know you have, because there's actually like another roof, but the ceiling above the place where I spawned. I, I traveled that route to make it to the, eventually make it to a fortress. As, occasionally I ran into a couple of these lava pits, but thankfully nothing that burned me to death, which was kind of nice. And I eventually made it to the fortress, which is kind of nice, and the area where the spawner was, you can sort of see him. Hello, hello spawner. Um, but yeah, so I was able to thankfully make it there and kind of set up camp. I toyed with the idea of creating a blaze spawner because I had done so many like, redstone spawner type things but I ended up not doing that. And my inventory was unfortunately full, so I ran out here to grab this blaze rod and then I got trapped and died. 